If you look here on the right, you'll see Mary Queen of Scots. On the left, if you look at the picture, you will see Vulcan that keeps derailing. Anyway, you will see where I'm pointing and you will see they've put bump stops there. The shash is exactly the same, except for some reason in Vulcan they've put bump stops, which are about 2mm wide, maybe 3mm wide each side. And remember that 4mm is to 1 foot in double O scale. 4mm is 1 foot. So if you upscale it and you did that to a real locomotive, it's a hell of a difference. And obviously cuts down the loco's ability to go around radius. And it couldn't do a radius 3 onto a radius 2 or, or a left-hand set-piece point. It couldn't do it. Anyway, I've decided to have a go at removing these. I tried it first with a screwdriver, but I couldn't do it. So with the blade of a Stanley knife, I just gently eased them out. They weren't part of the chassis and they're just plastic and as you can see here Mary Queen of Scots Vulcan is exactly the same so now why Backman has done this I will never know none of my other uh, class 37's are like this they're both like the loco on the right as you look at the screen anyway we'll give it a run now and hopefully everything will be fine Okay, I've removed those flanges, so Vulcan is like Mary Queen of Scots, if you remember it came off here. And here you see now, it's running beautifully, nice and smooth. Look at that, that's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And we'll try the uh, fiddle yard. And here it goes, no problem, and back again. And you can see it runs absolutely superb. And you may remember in the procession of four this was coming off here, every time. And back again. And back again. And you can see that's absolutely fine. Brilliant. 